Hey everyone, how's it going? My name's Ebosbox and welcome to a tutorial on setting up and syncing Google Drive in your Linux operating system. In this tutorial I will be using a distribution called Pinguy OS, but it, the, this will pretty much apply to anything that's Ubuntu based or Ubuntu der derived distribution of Linux. And you will have to set up a rep an additional repository to your installation if you're not comfortable doing so. I suggest you look for another option. If you are unfamiliar with the process or the commands given, simply look to word for word on the video and in the text post and just kind of try to follow along. It's pretty simple to set up, so I will just kind of walk you through right now. Go ahead and open up a terminal. Ter terminal? Terminal? I don't know what a turn term turnable is. <sighs> Type in sudo adapt repository PPA the fan club slash grive dash tools. Grive dash tools, grive tools is what you will be using to set up Google Drive. It's a third party version, again called Grive. That's actually really, really good and functions almost exactly the same as your Windows Google Drive software. Once it has added the repository, it may ask you if you are sure you want to add it. Simply hit yes. Go ahead and run sudo apt-get update. Reload everything from your repository. Then go ahead and type in sudo apt-get install grive and grive tools. Simply put a space between them, but make sure you get both as you will need them. Now here you do have the option of just simply running grive in the command line and setting it up. However, this did not work for me and you're stuck with basically trusting the command line to sync your Google Drive folder and for me it actually tried syncing my entire home folder instead of setting up a custom Google Drive folder. So instead of running it from the command line I recommend finding the actual shortcuts. For me they're in my menu accessories obviously based on your distribution and custom UI setup. That will vary but there's going to be Google Drive Indicator and Google Drive and then Grive Setup. Google Drive Indicator and Google Drive will automatically run for you once it's set up, but you will need to run Grive Setup first. Log in, give it your authentication info, yada yada, and then it will start to sync your software, your files. And then once it has synced most of the way, it will sit there with the progress bar. You can go ahead and jump to your home folder and see that the folder is there. For me, it took a lot longer than the desktop client to sync. I'm not entirely sure why, that was just my experience. And then once it's finished and you reboot your computer and things like that, you will see you have the Google Drive icon in your system tray. And you can run it, open it, play with your files, sync it up. By default it's set to sync automatically, obviously that's probably what you want, but if you're like me and you get into it and notice not all your files are quite there, go ahead and hit sync now and give it some more time and it will sync up. Sometimes after the initial quote syncing that it needs to actually set up the folder and call itself done. It's still not entirely synced, but again, good Google Drive alternative for Linux. Hope this tutorial helps some out. I was looking for an option because I use Google Drive for everything and I wanted access to it without just being in the web browser all the time on my Linux laptop. And this is what I found and this is what I found to be useful. Hope you did enjoy the video. Uh, please be sure to drop a comment if you have another tutorial you'd like me to show you. And check out my other videos, and I will see you next time. Bye bye. Thanks for watching Epos and Chew. Let's play together. If you enjoyed the video, consider clicking on the screen to subscribe now. To watch another video, click one of the video annotations on the screen above. Links are also provided to our website, Twitter, and Facebook pages. See you next time.